We'll also hear at five a professional heavyweight boxer busted in South Florida. Police say he got physical with a car dealership employee. According to cops, he put that person in a chokehold. Now he finds himself in a fight with the law. Seven's Maricela Burgos is at that Hollywood dealership with what occurred uh, there. Maricela. Craig and I talked to that employee off camera. He says he will continue to pursue charges against this boxer because of what he says he did to him at his place of business. Professional boxer Jarrell Miller is accused of taking it too far when he dropped by this auto shop on Tuesday. You were charged with carjacking without firearm or weapon, burglary with assault. The court finds probable cause. Hollywood police officers arrested Miller after they say he attacked an employee and then stole a black Dodge Ram from Himes Motors. It is alleged that Mr. Miller first put the victim in a chokehold, then slammed him to the ground before robbing him, who was doing nothing other than his job. According to authorities, a woman claimed she left her phone in the truck, which the dealership had repossessed, and that's when they say Miller came up from behind demanding the keys. He enlisted the assistance of another individual to uh, create a ruse to distract the employee so that Mr. Miller could attack him from behind and choke him while he was uh, uh, trying to assist this woman in getting her phone that she advised was left in the vehicle. In court, the state argued he planned this. It would appear that Mr. Miller, he knew what, what the plan was going to this business to get his car back. It would appear by any means. The defense argued there wasn't enough probable cause there for the two charges against him. I think at best, the state would have here a grand theft and a misdemeanor battery instead of those two charges. The judge disagreed. Taking into account the allegations in the probable cause affidavit, the level of um, force that was used as well as um, the manner in which the offense took place, the court does find probable cause as to both counts. And Miller is locked up at the Broward County Jail. Live in Hollywood, Maricela Burgos, 7 News.